Chris Birchler, heavyweight for the Edinburgh fight in Scots. Chris. What's up, man? Four out of five, not much. Four out of five years of your college career were at East Stroudsburg. Two. Two, two? Out of three. Two out of three. I didn't wrestle my first two years oh, of college. Oh, really? I was two years at Caldwell College, then two years at East Stroudsburg. Oh, good One man. year at Edinburgh. Third year of college wrestling this is my fifth year of school and last year of eligibility. Okay, so last year of eligibility is yeah. what I guess I should yeah. be saying. Yeah. Thanks for correcting me, man. There you go. Appreciate it. Caldwell College, where's that? Uh, Northern New Jersey. Northern New Jersey? Caldwell. Where are you from? Uh, town over Fairfield, Northern Jersey. New Jersey? Yeah. I don't hear an accent, man. Uh, Jersey people have an accent? <laughs> Not that I know of. I know there's an accent out here. I have an accent? No, not you. But I some don't. of the people out here say y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris. Uh, first year in the program here yeah. at Edinburgh. Not even a full first year. First and only. First and only. Because right. it's over after this. Mm -hmm. Okay, but East Stroudsburg actually dropped to Division Two, and that was the reason for your transfer, right. correct? Right. All right. Now, fast forward to rank in the top 20. You're an NCAA qualifier for East mm -hmm. Stroudsburg, right? Division One. Yep. But now they're not Division One anymore. What's it like coming into a program like this, a high-intensity program? I'll tell you what, man. At first, it was it was tough. I was not used to like the you know working really really hard all the time, and uh, I was starting to build up injuries. And I was used to I, I literally didn't even go to practice my second year, if you can imagine that. My first year, I tried it, but just not having enough guy heavyweights. There was no heavyweights. I was the only guy, and, and the other guys, the 84s and 97s, they weren't like top. They were good, but you know what I mean? For someone of my level, I need, I need heavier guys. I'm not getting the work at, with 84, 97 pounds. So second year, I was, the coaches were a lot more flexible with me, and I really didn't go to practice very often. I let them know what I was doing. We kind of worked, worked on it a little bit together. So this is at Stroudsburg? This is at Stroudsburg. My second year, I really didn't go to practice at all. I worked out every once in a while with this guy, you know, Angelo Borzio? Yeah. I would work out with him maybe once a week, once every couple of weeks, work on technique, a little bit of live, not too much. He's kind of out of the game. But I just mainly worked out a lot of my own strength and conditioning. So then coming here, two a days for two months for the whole first, you know, a lot of preseason, I was getting really, like, just worn out, you know. Um, and just the overall work ethic here is just a lot more. And uh, it's a good thing overall. I'm in way, way better shape than I was at East Stroud's, but I used to gas every match you know I mean I would tough it out every match but I don't like having to tough it out if you don't have to I'd rather just be in good shape so I'm in way better shape but like I said you know a lot more injuries but Flynn's going to taper us real good for the end of the season everyone told me that end of the season they all felt really really good so I'm not worried about it I'm putting my uh, career in his hands okay you're in the deepest weight in the EWL conference right now uh, you there's, there's there's four top 33 guys right now yeah. Uh, you got Lockhaven, you got Craig, uh, you got Pitt, mm -hmm. Tomei, you've got uh, Williamson at WVU, and then yourself, you're not even the highest ranked guy. Uh, depending on the outcome of the duel with you right. and Pitt will be the seeding criteria. But do you guys need to be hitting on all cylinders to beat the Pitt Panthers this year? I mean, they're ranked higher than us, aren't they? I'm pretty sure in the rankings, aren't they? 15, 18? Something, something like that. that. Yeah, I mean, well, number one, it would help to have a full lineup. We have, we're missing King and Morricone tonight, those are two of our you know, better guys. Um, so we're gonna need our, need our full healthy lineup to beat them, number one. And it's gonna be, it's gonna come down to, might come down to the heavyweights. I mean, it's that close of a duel where even if everybody wrestles well and we win where we're supposed to, it still does, you know what I mean? It's still gonna be that close where it might come down to the heavyweights. I love it when it comes down to the heavyweights. I perform well under pressure. I lose to bums sometimes in the season, but <laughs> last year at nationals, I did pretty well against the top, the top guys. So I like the pressure. So I would like it to come down to the heavyweights. All right. Didn't add an incentive. I saw you at the beginning of the season. I just saw you for the first time. 30 pounds lighter. 30 pounds lighter, man. What? Obviously. Shows how hard we've been working, right? I haven't been trying to lose weight. I just, Coach Flynn, at the start of the season, I was eating so much just to keep my weight above 280 because I thought maybe if I'm the biggest guy, that'll, you know, which, you know, for some guys can work really well if you're a Dustin Fox or a Cole Conrad, if you have that style. But for me, it wasn't working, and I was losing to, like I said, some bums. Um, guys, you shouldn't have lost to. Right. <laughs> they're, not, they're not the worst wrestlers on the planet, but guys I don't think I should be losing to. Now I'm 30 pounds lighter, and it wasn't by you know me trying. It was just Flynn said, don't be a slave to the scale. Eat when you're hungry. Eat, be healthy. He's got an answer for everything, doesn't yeah, he? He does. He's the man. He's the man. Flynn's the man. All right, Bruce, you got anything else for me? Uh, look to see me put a wampin on till May. And I'm not editing this. I just want to let you know that. <laughs> no. Well, I hope he sees it. 
I've been, uh, I know a person that knows Tomei personally. I told her to uh, put a little smack talk in for me, get in his head a little bit. Anything, you know, anything you can use to get an advantage on your opponent, I'll, I'll take it. And then uh, look for me to make a good run in nationals. Right, Top of the podium. All right, hey, thanks, so for the, thanks for the time, looking slim and trim. Absolutely. And I will, I will be, we will have that match when it happens, and uh, we can, you can comment on it, or we can, I can get your, uh, your comments after it, all right? Very good. Very all right, Chris, thanks for the time, good luck. Yeah, no problem, thank you.